all right so hey everyone welcome back to another lecture of salesforce bytes and in this video we'll specifically talk about a concept that's not permission set but permission set groups right so what are permission set groups so these come as an advancement on permission sets right we had permission sets earlier we still have them but there is a concept wherein you would want your permission set assignment to not be individual but could if in one way or the other could be bulkified in that case we get some a concept that's called permission set groups right so the problem with permission sets is that the individual assignment to all users you would have to assign it individually to every user right once you have a permission set but what you can do is if you have 10 different permission sets for a specific functionality you need to you can basically group them and you can create a group add those 10 permission sets under one group and assign just that one permission set group instead so that saves you nine clicks because one click and you are uh, good with it right this saves a lot of time and is far more faster and efficient in managing permissions for the module right right if if for uh, let's say, let's say for the next release what happens is you know one of one of the permission set is you know reverted or uh, is not needed anymore what you can do is you can just go back to the permission set group and just modify that permission set right you don't have to do that for every every permission set and the assignment does not have to vary right you have to basically tackle one issue not 10 issues that that's that's the uh, plain straight way to say it right so the permission set group itself can be used to add permissions pertaining to the requirement alongside the permission sets for custom requirements what does this means this means when you create a group let's consider this as a box right this box can hold some small boxes which are uh, again permission sets but it can also hold some small permissions of its own so you can add permissions on the permission set group it need not be just a permission set assignment cool and at max 100 permission sets can be added under a group not more than that so that's a good 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 uh, upper limit we have we don't have to worry about it right let's take a look at permission set group in salesforce so what do i do i go to home and i say permission set groups right earlier we just had permission sets but now we have permission set groups so if i go to permission set groups i just say click on new and here i give it a name so i'll say my fancy permission set group cool and enter a description i'll just say this holds the key to all access i mean whatever nonsense right and then i can just say save so my permission set group has been created and if you notice I, I get to see uh, let's let's do something let me just duplicate this tab and let me parallelly show you how things look like on a permission set right so if I go to permission set and I click on the new button here and I create a dummy permission set and I say save what what do I see here I see that I should be able to add permissions for all of these configurations right all the metadata basically what we what we generally generally do with profiles or what we generally do with permission sets right how is it different for permission set groups if you notice the same same thing is here but it gives you a combined acts combined view right for example you have five permission sets that are added so you can take a look at what are those so if, if you if i go to the permission set in groups i don't see any permission set here what i would do is i would say add permission set and let's say i want to add the buyer module and my dummy permission set i would just add these three what would this do this would basically mean all the access that has been granted through the three permission sets now come under one permission set group my fancy permission set group and if I were to assign this particular permission set group to a user, they would have access to whatever they get in all of these three permission sets. Make sense? Becomes easy, right? Because now you don't have to assign buyer manager to every user, buyer to every user, dummy PS to every user. You just have to assign one permission set group and that takes care of all the access. If I click on done here and I take a look at the permission set group again, I should see that, you know, my combined permissions will have the permissions that are available in all the three permission sets cool so that's how you would simply add permissions but that brings up an interesting question how do you get rid of some permissions that you don't want and in that case what happens is you get a concept of muting permissions right what does that mean that means if you have two permission sets for example with a specific permission that you don't want to include for the group right so you would use a muted permission set what does that mean that means right now we have three permission sets that are added to one group right let's say in one of them there's a permission that says that you know uh, create permission on the account level 
or read permission and the create permission on the account record on the account object but i don't want that uh, in my permission set group how do i do that i don't have to modify my permission set why because that might be assigned to some other people who might need that permission right but for users who i'll be assigning the permission set group to they might not need it so in that case i want to get rid of just those two permissions but now i cannot modify my permission set correct what do i do i create a muted permission set instead how do you do that if you go to permission set group you see that you have an option to create a muting permission set so i'll click on the muting permission set and i'll create a new one right so i'll say it gives you an automatic name based on the permission set group that you have and it adds the muted keyword i'll say save and if you notice now once this is created i'll click on this particular permission set group what i can do is i can go to object settings for example and i can get rid of let's say accounts and if i click on edit you will notice an interesting thing here see whatever is enabled you can just see that and then you can mute some of it right so for example let's assume that the permission set had the read and create access given what i would do is i would just mute these things right so if i mute the read access everything else gets mute, uh, muted that's why it automatically checked but let's say for example if i go for edit or if i go for delete any any one of them right that would basically mean this particular access will be muted off from the permission sets that are part of the permission set group what would that do is that would mean all the permissions that are available in the permission set group combined the combining the three permission sets will be granted to the user who gets assigned the permission set group but they won't be able to view all and modify all account records because of this muted permission set which is part of the group right this was a good good sentence you can rewind 15 seconds 30 seconds back and listen to it probably once or twice and that th then you should get it cool once i click on save this would be my muted uh, permission set and now my permission set group has two things it has a combination of three permission sets along with one muted permission set right let's go back to my permission set group i see this here if i click on the permission set group what i can do is i can say manage assignments and now instead of you know adding each permission set one by one i can simply add this group to my users cool and if i were to do this the other way i could go to users i could go to the specific user i want to add get this added to and here i should see something that's called permission set assignment permission set group assignment this one right here i'll say edit assignment and i'll add my fancy permission set group and that should clear it out cool so this is how you use a permission set group alongside cons al alongside muting permissions in case you want to get rid of some permissions that you don't want the group to have all right that's all i had for the permission set group i'll see you in the next lecture bye